Hello YouTube, welcome back to another episode of An Old Man with a Phone. For those of you who have watched a few of my videos, you'll know for several years I've been building out my solar power system. <coughs> I went from, uh, well essentially I started with a 40 amp hour solar panel uh, from Coleman and a 7 amp hour charge controller and uh or sorry it was a 40 watt solar panel 7 amp charge controller and a 20 amp hour uh lead acid marine battery deep cycle <clears throat> and through trial and experience and slowly building up i've gotten to the point now where i'm uh, about to put the final touches on my system my first uh, large charge controller was an EP Ever 40 amp hour. The one you see now is a 100 amp hour. And uh, my solar panels are currently still specced for that 40 amp hour. Uh, I've had nothing but troubles trying to source supplies. Uh, it hasn't been very friendly. <laughs> But I am going to reimagine this entire system this year quite shortly, and I'll explain what I'm doing and why. Uh, so this system currently does everything I ask of it. It uh, will back up my freezer. It'll let me make toast. It'll let me have coffee. Uh, in 100% grid down, I can still run my internet and watch TV. Where I'm weak is on the solar input. I only have 512 watts of solar current, and uh, that's just not enough for cloudy days to maintain the system, which is why this is uh, powered by uh, two LifePo 4 320 amp hour batteries, and it is still a 12 volt system. I'm going to maintain a 12 volt system I am in the process of acquiring six more of these batteries very rapidly. I went on Amazon, which is where I've been sourcing them. They're about $800 each. I tried to make a purchase. The card I use doesn't allow a purchase that size. Amazon has freaked out and completely blocked me. Um, I can't get in. They're asking questions I don't have answers to. I think my Amazon shopping days are uh, coming to a close. I do intend to go through an alternative route to acquire these batteries from Amazon. Um, we'll see if that works. But in addition to uh, cancelling my account, they did bill me three times and send some of this stuff on my wish list. So currently I've upgraded these batteries and put in 200 amp fuses. Uh, considering the battery can spew out 200 amps, it'll actually do more than that. It'll do 350 for a short surge, but 200 all day long and it's happy. So between these two, I can pull 400 amps and I'm fine. By the time I put in the rest, I'll be able to pull 1600 amps and I'm fine. Except that's way more power than you'll ever use. Which brings me to these bus bars. They did bill me for these and they sent me these. These bus bars are 600 amps. I'm going to tie one battery into each of the eight posts. And then I'll run a similar wire configuration to this. Coming up to another one. These here will only handle 400 amps. So I will be limiting the power I draw. But I'm not drawing no 400 amps. Um, it's ju I just don't have the, the use for that kind of power. So I have enough of these 200 amp fuses to um, finish it off when uh, my batteries get here. The solar panels are ordered and on the way. I'm getting three 405 watt hour panels so I should have uh, 1215 watts at peak I'm actually gonna have closer to 900 to a thousand watts on average which should be just fine I think 
I do have another set of these for dividing the power out if uh, the case needs be. Uh, if you've been following my channel, you know with all of uh, my preparations, supplies, anything like that, uh, it has to serve more than one use. If it's a single use, I'm probably wasting my money. I like multi-use. And that's why when it comes to these batteries, I'm going with 6 12 volts to make up my, uh, my power supply. And I'll explain why. When it comes to batteries, you can really get hosed. There's a lot of ways you can go about doing this. Some are cost friendly. Others, uh, you better have a better job than me. So with these batteries, I'm buying uh, eight uh, 320 amp hour batteries. It's going to come to a total of $6,400. Whereas if, and that will allow me to make up a 48 hour or 48 volt, 640 amp hour um, power cell. Now, if I were to buy the server rack 48 volt batteries, they're about 100 amps and at 48 volts and they cost close to $2,000 each. I would need $12,000 worth of uh, server rack batteries versus 6,400 worth of these. With server rack batteries, your 48 volts, that's it. With these, I can be 12, 24, 36, or 48 volts and just roll on. Um, at at uh, 48 volts, uh, I'll be able to, through this charge controller, bring in as much as five kilowatt hours of solar but at uh, 12 volts i'm only going to get about 1200 watts worth of solar and i'm uh, i'm quite fine with that i think that's enough uh, in addition to uh, that purchase this was one of the items that came in a pv combiner box with a lightning arrestor and surge protectors so I had to go ahead and install all the wiring into this and get it all connected proper. And you'll just be putting your positive and negative into here uh, from your solar uh, panels going into your charge controller. And then I'm going to run a thick wire from here going straight to a ground stake. This will allow me to tie in four sets of panels. And uh, I'm only going to need, I think, one or two, but I like to have the capacity to increase should the need arise. Like I mentioned before, multi-use. In addition to that, this charge controller is capable of sending a signal to my generator to turn it on uh, when the batteries are weak and another signal to turn it off. The generator I have is capable of receiving said signal. However, I didn't own any way to get the power from the generator to the battery. And Amazon Claus brought me this and billed me handsomely. Uh, this will run up to 85 amps. It is uh, uh, made for the LifePo 4 batteries. It has a... Um, Trying to hold the phone here. Uh, you just kind of dial up and down how much amperage you want. Uh, I find running this at about uh, between 50 and uh, 55 amps is good. As I turn up the amperage, you can see from the heating on the negative wire, it started to melt this case a little. That's why these are off was, uh, was testing this out. But yeah, as I turn up the amperage, I'm, uh, I'm melting this. And the reason being is these little cables really can't handle that high of an amperage. But with the way they connect, I can always change them out for a 100 amp cable. And I will be just fine. So early 2025, what we're hoping to achieve is an 8-pack of batteries instead of 2 three 405 watt solar uh, panels in my array 
As for the two I'm currently using, I'll probably take them down and put them away. Or I might, uh, I might plumb them in differently, put my 40 amp hour back up here, and uh, plumb the, the two charge controllers together so that there's a slave and a master. And then I'll be able to push 140 amps into the batteries with no problem. And uh, that would be substantial amount of power. As for this board, the whole thing's got to get more or less taken down. I want to uh, clean up the wiring a lot. I'm going to move the power inverter so that it's more out of the way and takes up less real estate on the board. Um, and just kind of reimagine how I do this to make it a little bit neater, a little bit cleaner, and a lot easier for me to, uh, to work with. Aside from that, that's all I have for you today. Uh, thank you very much for walking. Do hit me up in the comments. Give me your thoughts and opinions. Please keep it polite. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and Happy New Year.